question mark. Could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Results on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Four yards on the field. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here. As it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the New York Jets. Allen. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, he's one of the top receivers in the game, Charles, so no surprise here on the opening drive. They want to get him involved, and he has catches on back-to-back -back plays. And, Brandon, I look at it from the defense's perspective. You know he's one of the top receivers in the game. You've got to find ways to slow him down because if he gets into high gear, he's going to shred you all game long. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point that continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets on the quarterbacks. They'll run here. It's one. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Give him 40 yards and a fresh set of downs. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. In fact, Taylor Heineke, the first ODU quarterback to suit up for a regular season game, not to mention doing From midfield, here's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing way to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something lost with that one. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen now looks to throw. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 39. 11 yards for number 11. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On first down, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. A ball on the 32. It's second and two. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Allen got a throw. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as the tackle is made right at the 25-yard line. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Again, they'll push it with Allison. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab for Josh Allen. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up? in order to get off the field a lot faster. Because both sides are out there for 10 plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. 
man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Still a 39 on second and 10. He's going to hold on to it. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, he had success earlier in the drive, keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. This taken in right around the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Dolphins take the field with two tons of high low, their quarterback from Alabama at the hill. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp, he sees the field really well, and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So here come the Jets for two and the Dolphins now with a first and ten at their own 24. Former second overall pick. Now it is third. Off of play action. Tug of my law. And a quick throw there is incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown game. Couple of Alabama guys here, two in a waddle for the Miami first. But whenever you call and run the hit trap, a lot of times that ball has got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's a result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands, and oftentimes receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. Now a play fake. Here's Tony Milo. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Looks like one of the DBs has it. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, and pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they're talking about creating turnovers. That's all they preach, all game long, all practice long, every meeting, get the football. That's what they want. Hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis. And it's second down. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Throwing now is Allen. down. You, you kind of just feel laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice. 
we saw when they went through two minute drill yeah, and they went through all the different situations. Ball the hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might sometimes be locked in for this one. Really, the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the plays we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head. This is now Alice. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. Robinson will try to pick it up. A great effort there. Second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Bills have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. Now they're going to slow him down. I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area wherever he lines up to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished. Just looking crisper, aren't they? Moving the ball. Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to pump the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, OK, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Now a first they fake the handoff. Now to it. Looking left side, and it's complete. Patterson and they're able to get this one across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and have your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That's frightened the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. On play action, here's Tua. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. He wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield. And it almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. Play action. Now it's Tua. And a quick throw here. That's complete. To the 40 and no further. The broken tackle, but then the hole closed quickly. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. One and kick the extra point. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a seven to nothing lead. A 10 play drive that time. And it was and again, it's Tug of Ilo. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the ball. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Start on the ground. Oh, he's got some First and goal, and they got a 
might be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 36 yards on the play. Again, they will throw it with Tug of Iowa. But that one's pretty well. This will be caught at about the six. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from two. And the Dolphins are back within a score. Situations, defensive backs are taught never to get beat inside. So the fade route is a great answer to that. And quarterbacks, if they just throw it, well, only their receiver can get it. They have a great opportunity to make it work. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. Their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. A front door, total And that one makes it 14 to seven. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Throwing is Wilson. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. He shook his head right when he released Now that Hardy on the return. A little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that and one. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten at their own 27. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. He's got a digs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to put it away. This first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And to the air. Allen. Spin on that one. It hits at the four. It gets caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's got this down to the 35. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Not as they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 35-yard line. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. They wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Works right side into the hands of the tackle. The ball comes out. 61 yards rushing for him as he's got the ball. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's obviously got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Free on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 15. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with the minute partner because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With this speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Tua wants to throw it on second down. He'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. So a start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two great pass connections on offense. So that's how a 
team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. So in on first, first down, tug of Iroa. First and, ten. and that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. They're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. Completes it to the tight end Smythe. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 49. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Not extraordinarily open, but open enough that if you're an NFL quarterback, you've got to make that throw. Right? Yeah. It's got to be complete. Nine times out of ten, that's a completed pass. In motion, Hill. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Taken in by his big tight end. Three one quarter, fourteen seven. Our score. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the round. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. Now they contend with a second and twelve after the loss, as they've got it as we resume action. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step down, feel the man coverage, and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays, just like that one we saw there. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Second quarter now, Falcon football. Two are going to throw. As they've got it with a second down and two coming up. And this is going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part at got the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they have to punt this one away, and it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive flash? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Here's Hardy set to return. So possession goes over here on the punt, and they will take over first and ten. And now out come the Bills. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball, let him do his thing, and they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. Are you worried at this stage or still? Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out of wide. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it's second down. How are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer, and make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter, you get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now hold the start. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball doesn't get all the credit, but how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy just get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second and eight. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. B. John Robinson leading the offense. 
Lights out for another drive. And again, a challenge. On the last drive, he hit the end zone. Oh, left side caught by Diggs. That'll give him eight that time. And third and one now. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well be the fool. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and it stuffed it. And no field goal try here from the red zone offense out there. They'll go for it on four. Allen now looks to throw. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down. They only needed one, but it ends up being a gain of six and moves the chains. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Allen now on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. On second down, a run with Hall. Pass on for the extra point. Yeah, pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 39. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So that drive in total eight plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll run with Hall. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it he away. Back up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And, what he has and to this do, will be a touchback. Mario's deciding not to bring it out. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Down pickup of ten yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and ten at their 25-yard line. Runner pass there offensively. I think it's a. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Tug of Ilo to throw. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Dolphins on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're getting the football back again. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. When that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage. They and a fair catch, like single four, and taken really just outside the 20 yard line. It'll be a 39 yard punt, no return. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. He really continues to pick apart this defense last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone? Describe the game as really slowed down. Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, 
It's it's snail space. Oh, it's snail chance. space for him, and he can do whatever he wants with the gets all the time in the world to throw the ball. And his offensive line has been giving him that. He's going to be on the deck constantly. They've got no chance to win this game. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. From the 29, here's second and four. And that will be incomplete. Allen. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there's no space available. And incompletion as a result. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Allen going to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. More stand the putter out to kick it off. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Allen to throw once more. About the 22. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Bills passing game, get him down the field. They've got another first down. Long speed, short area quickness. Ike showed it all on that drive because he was able to carry the ball in a variety of ways. But every back loves to finish it, getting into the open field and getting to the end zone. Show off that 40 time. No doubt. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end. Knox. the ground here on first down. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier. This is second and eight. And they hold him to just a yard. From the 24. Here's down, Allen to throw it. It's caught by Davis. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up third and one. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And that will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself. And off comes to Cook. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, sometimes it's a beauty. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Even against double coverage, he found enough of his opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL, but just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there, couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a good play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Now this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Second and ten. To throw, it's Allen. And they be a measure of revenge there. And he can't find a receiver So this defense, they gave up some yards on this drive. The bottom line, they came up with a sack when it mattered. 
and we know that every down counts. But let's be honest about it. People focus on third down as a real key down in any drive, any situation. They took full advantage of third down there and made a play. The kick by pass is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. decision to go for it pays off with six points so after knocking through the field goal here's bass to kick it away down, but they got more than that and then some as he takes this into the end zone and i love your description right there right? and able to get this out to the 25 they got that Miami set to take over. and charles a very uninspired effort the last time everyone goes away happy on that one ku able to connect on the extra point and the lead is up to 18 now And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Brees Hall help leading out this offense for another series. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space. And just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Arnold Ebicady. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now Wilson. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. The Jets on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and 19. Wilson. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. That's taken at around the 40. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. B. John Robinson leading the offense out for another drive. Well, there you see it, a hat trick of touchdowns, and we're in the first half. I'm betting that he was over there saying, feed me. Yeah, there's no doubt. I got to eat. There is no doubt, and he's real hungry right now, <laughs> isn't he? I mean, let's be honest about the whole thing. We don't have to be on the field to understand what he's telling everyone. Give me the ball. We're locked in with the offensive line. They're taking care of business, and I'm finishing things off. Well, heck, he might be able to turn this into an historic event. We'll see. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Just need a yard here, second and one.
from the shotgun. It's Heineke. Got London on the slant. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Heineke. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now a second and ten. Throwing. Heineke. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. To the air again, Heineke. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Heineke forced out to his left and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes the sack recorded it's a loss of five and now it's second down I think this defense Charles realizing the deficit they're facing they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there yeah and those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because as we know they've had their trouble so far in this one but they just proved to themselves that they can get to him. And I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Heineke now to the end zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this from 34. Ku knocks this one through the post. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24 to three. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker too as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's gonna have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a former Longhorn, Bijan Robinson, who was tucked to stop in that first half. He's up over 100 yards rushing for the game already, and he scored three times as well, as they went to him early and often, and with good reason.
The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Second half starts with a run by Hall. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's the second down and six. On the handoff, Abanacanda. Boy, shifts past him. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Hall on a give up the middle. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. All again on second down. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Here's Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cobb. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. A carry here for the big tight end. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Brand, if I wanted to run the football this close to the goal line, I think I'd just turn around and hand it to my tailback. Too many things could go wrong in this situation. I think they're fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Abana Kanda is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. So it's third and goal, and now the question, can this Falcon defense stand tall once more? To throw is Wilson. Touchdown! Tyler Conklin from three yards out. And the Jets are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. 
That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Zerline good with a PAT. And that cuts the lead to 24-10. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. They begin the drive with Robinson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Again, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Heineke to throw it. That is caught. He's going to pick up the first down and then some. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. 32 yards. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead for those other guys. They've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach. And that's a strong step towards getting it done. A give left side to Robinson. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business in the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. 
And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Falcons have moved out in front by three touchdowns. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And New York set to take the field. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? They'll start on the ground, Hall. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. First and ten, it's Wilson. This pass complete, he finds Jeremy Rucker. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. When we talk all the time about playing situational football right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10, down at the 31. Wilson. And Lazard's got it again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. 
Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. On first down, right back to Hall. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second and seven. Throwing is Wilson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Here's Wilson to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Oh, Brandon, that's a game remove right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here, give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. Now Wilson. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Randall Cobb there to make the grab. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself, no reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead will be cut down to 14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. Heineke going to lead the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got this complete to the tight end Pitts. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Robinson on a give right side. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Falcons. They've got the football. They've got the lead as we get set to start the fourth. The offense on third down tonight, and they've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. 
Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Second down and a run by Robinson. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now a third and six. Now Heineke. Able to find the open man. That's complete. It's a big play there for Atlanta. And even 40 yards. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Robinson up the middle. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Second and 10. Off the play fake, Heineke. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? On third down, Heineke. Over the middle, caught by London. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. They'll run with Robinson. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation. And he knows that. Touchdown, Falcons! Drake London, a five-yard touchdown. And the Falcons have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs. And if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Who able to connect on the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. 
And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. And that pick six, that was the first turnover forced by the defense in this ballgame, CD. And what's even better is when they finally forced one, they kept the effort up and were able to return it for a score. They could hear their defensive coaches saying to them, hey, getting the interception's great. Can you do more with it? Turn it into a big play. And they did exactly that. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing after the interception, Wilson. And avoids the contact by sliding. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble. But still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. From the gun, it's Wilson. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. This pass out wide to Hall. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Now Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three times and eight chances. 
This time they face a third and two. He's got his target. That's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 31-yard line. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10, down at the 31. Now it's Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 23, here's second down and one. Wilson will throw again. And a quick throw there is incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. They'll run with Hall, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's on the guard, Lakin Tomlinson. Still third down. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Wilson. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 19. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. He gets it underneath to Hall. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. To throw again is Wilson. That's caught at the one. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jets get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And a good job here by the Falcons. Their hands team able to recover it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. 
I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run this one right with Robinson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, They've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. First target, first catch, and a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field, they can't slow them down, they're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. Robinson trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish.